What's up guys, Skinny here, back for another episode of War Thunder First 6, and today we're doing on Type 61. So literally, as I finish the uh, M41 video, I had done the research of this, literally I came out of the last game, and this was done research, so I'm immediately recording this. So, uh, basically, this is the STA-1, but better, and at a uh, Type 61, I think it means the Type 61 gun. Quickly go over the armor. The armor is 45 millimeters on the upper, 50 on the lower, 80 on the front of the turret, and 60 all around. That's we'll see in the first game that I actually accidentally started the first game before I recorded the intro, but uh, this will go first because you know I can do that and post uh, in editing. The armor on the side is 30 and 35, so really weak side armor. Really, this is. Mint is a lightest of a lighter side of the mediums, but it's actually quite mobile. Um, and in the first game, as you'll see, I, I took a few random shots. So it looks like we have a lot of ammo in this tank, but the 22 rounds I took seems to only take these two racks, but what's this? 12 by 15, 20. 22 so Jesus I take 34 rounds of ammunition still only have these two hull racks Damn I want to do that transmission but you got a quite very very large engine compartment I don't know this should all be cooling sh oh this actually isn't counted but very large engine uh, it's, it's quite a pretty vehicle I can't like the look of it and uh yeah we'll get into the well first game and uh so we can do well we actually did pretty decent but i didn't kill anything i remember i have i i forget stuff really quickly but i did hurt a target 10.5 pretty badly before i got nuked by another one welcome to the first game in the type 61 we are playing in japan and uh, well, I accidentally clicked the start game button and now I, uh, before I did the intro so I haven't actually done the intro yet when you actually see this game um, but I think I took the right amount of ammo The turret looks like some sort of Sherman's turret and then slapped a uh, made a little bigger so that this weird cupola on it has a wait wait at least it even has a rangefinder on it damn that shit's advanced so I'm just drinking some water um it's a bigger tank it's yeah because I only just got done recording the Six on the Japanese M41A1. It's a bit different. Uh, playing a lot of Japan lately. I should be playing America because I want the M1 Abrams. And yeah. I really wish this. Uh, the later American 90s, the stock round is the M82. It's a, it's a, the appalling AP round. But it's nice this gun can get access to heat. Sneak up on the big kitty. Please, please let me sneak up. 
Big kitty, yeah, turn your turn the hull, turn the hull, turn the hull, turn the hull, turn the hull. Fuck it, I'm taking the big kitty out. Ah! What was that sound that came out of my mouth? Took his engine out. Um, I think he underestimated the side scrape of that tiger. That's what happens. Oh, fuck, he fired. going on fuck off shit he just shot me and hit me real good knocking out a lot of my guys My gun is still kicking. Some bloody big transmission. 25 seconds to get the cannon breach and all the machine guns repaired, that's nice. Also getting a bit more ammo while I'm at it. Hurting me. Yeah, no stabilizer on this gun. Japanese decide to go with the design style of the Americans. And there's the 10.5 Tiger up there. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next game. Well, I'm actually going to go record the intro, but on to the next game. Welcome to the worst map of War Thunder 38 Parallel. I forgot to put in the intro that I gold bite it. Uh, the ammo and it seems that even though there's 34 rounds in this ammo rack, so I can't find how many rounds I need to fire off before. Okay. Then there's only 30 rounds I can take in those lower racks. Probably my shitty counting, but anyway. Damn right, I'll take 30 rounds into next game. I don't care. And look at that. Apparently artillery got a kill. Keep it strafes. Yeah, I like how they reduced the BR of the uh, Amex 30 in uh, 1972. I might actually, might research that now. But after I get the AA, uh, the Amex 30 AA vehicle. Yeah, it looks a pretty fun vehicle. Somebody's out of bounds over there. Go into the ro uh, to the river and we'll flank. We're in a full up tier because we're getting M60s, Leopard 1s. What's over there? I'll call the post. Um, well, fuck me. Welcome to abandoned factory, and uh, we're going to go to the C point like usual.
Um, because <laughs> who goes anywhere else? I forgot to take the weight of the tank. 34 tons, but you still have a 500 horsepower engine. Its power to rate ratio really isn't that bad. Which I like. Yeah. Pretty nippy. As people would say it. Also have these big smokes charges. I actually quite like the look of the Japanese smokes charges. There's like these micro borders put on it. Is pretty cool. This is a full-on American up T34. Right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I should have taken the opportunity. Oh, fuck. This is genocide. So, I'm top tier. Um, this means uh, jumbos, 76 jumbos, D34s. Big scary T thirty fours, IS twos, bigger scarier IS twos. So uh, this shit could be fun. Us. Yeah, use the bigger tiger. The bigger tigers as a shield. My dear, is I'm not gonna use this location. Anymore. Well, fuck. Welcome to Stalingrad, and we're on a full up tier. That's one big fucking gun. It's pretty long. Almost as long as my dick. Oh, thanks for the speed boost, my friends. I want to legitimately think, who would actually go for the AA? That thing is the first 6.7. As they put paint on the tanks. Uh oh, the AA vehicle's the best. But I highly doubt at this point that they'll be that dumb. Maybe there's hope that one day the M42 gets down to it. I really wish that the M42 was just 5.7 instead of 6.7. Let's give America a good replacement. There's a lot of them. I mean, a lot of good 6.7 worthy prototype AAs that the Americans made. Alright. Yeah, I need to get this. The, uh, all the skill, the crew skills of this tank up. That's really its problem. I like playing Japanese aircraft. Not so much on the tank side. But I've been playing tanks a lot lately. Fuck you.
Well, this is an M56 sitting down there and it's 50 calum to death. They could do it because the Capola is very high. And overall this makes this tank high. This tank's narrow because Japanese terrain. Whoa! That was extremely close. Um, buddy. I was gonna say stop it, but apparently my 90 mil can't go through that. <laughs> stuck on this. Fuck Can't turn quickly. Seems like I'm at. See where we can go. Oh, enemy tank in front. through here. Up, oh, up, oh, there's our friend. Oh shit, I've let, I've let him in. I'll quickly go down and kill the thing with the most armor then 50 cal that will in 114 to death. Fuck! You're kidding me. Through, killed everything. Right into the next game. Welcome to the Middle East for our last game. See if we do as good as the, the well, the last game we did. Um, let's warm up here and see if we can go. No, we're going to here into this town area. Now that the Centurion Mark III is at 6.7, now that thing has to go to 7.0 to make up for it. Carnarvon is better. Damn, we're flying. Oh, he's 
did. Really? Go for it, go for it, go for it. the smart when you find this house. I'm gonna watch this side. And I'm also gonna repair this tank. Keep it bit up. Uh, I guess if you're feeling suicidal, you've come to the right place. the last game we could do final thoughts and final thoughts is this tank's fun uh, it's decent uh obviously when i get the heat fs which this thing does have a heat fs and used in my current lineup which has this and this so two heat fs and a really good light tank this lineup's not gonna be that bad and uh yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys slap a like on it. If you guys dislike the video, feel free to put a dislike on it. If you guys really like the video, make sure you guys consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.